Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. In this video, I'm gonna talk about two terms. The first one is actually a misconception, but the second one is a valid statistical concept. To introduce these terms, I'm gonna share a survey result that I conducted recently. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get started. I'm gonna talk about gambling, not because I want to encourage you to gamble and lose all your money, rather because gambling often goes hand in hand with statistics. Let's consider the simplest form of gambling. Yes, I'm talking about the coin toss. You need to predict the outcome of a coin flip. If your prediction matches the original outcome, you win, otherwise you lose. Please remember that the coin is unbiased. For extra fun, assume your friend is also playing with you. He plays first, not once, but 15 times. You being a nerd, decided to note down the outcome of the coin flips while your friend was playing. You found that every single time, the coin landed on heads. I know, you are probably thinking, something's wrong. But it could happen, right? Now, it's your turn to play. What would you bet on? Heads or tails? And most importantly, what's the reason behind your prediction? Please remember, the coin is unbiased. I would highly recommend you to pause this video right now, make your decision and then resume watching. I hope you have made your decision and have a reason for it. Keep that in your head, not in the coin set but in your head. Now let's look at the survey that I conducted. I asked the exact same questions to some people. What would they predict and the reason behind their prediction? Here's the result of the survey. 53% of the people predicted heads and 47% predicted tails. But I'm not interested in the proportion of heads and tails. What I'm really interested in is the thought process behind these predictions. So I went through each answer and classified them into four groups. It turned out that 36% of the people choose heads because they thought the coin is biased even though I mentioned that the coin is a fair one. I can understand, it's really hard for people to believe that 15 consecutive heads will appear in an unbiased coin. Let's come to the second group. 17% predicted heads randomly without considering the previous outcomes. 20% predicted tails randomly without considering the past outcomes. And 27% of the people predicted tails because they thought the probability of tails has increased. After all, we haven't seen any tails in the previous flips. And this is the group that I'm most interested in. If you have predicted tails and your reasoning was similar to the last group, then unfortunately you have fallen into the gambler's fallacy. To understand this, let's go through the reasoning of the fourth group once again. This time, step by step. Firstly, if we are to flip the coin many times, then eventually the number of heads should be equal to the number of tails. That's what the law of large number says. As we repeat a random experiment, the cumulative outcome approaches the mean value. This is true. Secondly, as we have already seen 15 flips, then at some point, we should get more tails to compensate for these 15 heads, right? This is also true. Then people think that some point is now. In other words, we should see more tails from the 16th flip only. Which makes them think that probability of getting tails is higher on the 16th flip. But that is simply not true because the probability is still 0.5, right? The previous flips have no influence on the 16th flip. Yes, we will see more tails at some point but the universe is under no obligation to start producing tails from the 16th flip only. It might start way farther in the future. We simply don't know when. And that's what gambler's fallacy is. Our mind tends to think that a sequence of 15 heads is very, very unlikely. But do you know what else is unlikely? This sequence. Or this. Or this. Every unique sequence of 15 coin flips is as unlikely or likely as the sequence of 15 heads. The important point is, we are talking about the sequence, not the count of heads. And this brings us to our second term, that is regression toward the mean. This is a valid statistical concept which says, if an outcome of a random experiment is extreme, 
then a future outcome will be less extreme, that is closer to the mean. In this case, the experiment is not a single coin flip, but 10 coin flips. So according to this concept, the next round of 10 coin flips is expected to have less than 10 heads. Please notice nowhere does it say that there should be more tails. All it's saying is we should see a more balanced outcome. Gambler's fallacy focuses on the immediate next flip, but regression toward mean focuses on the next round of flips. And that's what you should remember to avoid any confusion between them. So what should be the best answer to my question? Well, you should just pick randomly because the probability is still 0.5. Many of the participants in the survey did exactly this. Few of them even mentioned the correct logic. Kudos to them. It was a great fun for me to do the survey and ultimately make the video. I hope you really enjoyed this. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and thanks for watching.